This episode of My Two Satoshis is brought to you by BitMart. BitMart's new quick exchange feature allows you to buy cryptos directly using fiat in just minutes. Use either Visa MasterCard and even a wire transfer. They work with the most trustworthy third-party vendors to make your crypto experience easy and convenient. So visit the link below to start using BitMart's new fiat to crypto feature on BitMart.com. Yes, yeah, your boy Crypto Blood, and welcome to another episode of My Two Satoshis. It is September 5th, 2019. Shout out to my man UK Ranja. He gave me an option. He said A, B, or C, Tupac to live or die in LA. B would be late night with DJ Quick, or C, do for love. And you can hear it right now. I'm playing C, Tupac, do for love. Haven't heard this song in a while, so. Thought we would rock out to that what's going on youtube hope you guys are doing well and welcome to another episode today i know it's been long overdue i've been doing a slew of uh kicking it sessions lately but i'm back to doing the my two satoshi joints today we are going to look at as if we ever needed another stable coin binance creates an nydfs approved us dollar stable coin ahead of its us launch Paxos helped Binance meet the regulatory approval for this, so we'll take a look at the details on this. I'm just not sure why we need more stable coins. That part I don't understand. I can understand having a whole bunch of altcoins. You know, there are different communities, different um, initiatives, motivations behind creating a, you know, a community and creating an uh, altcoin behind that community. But when we're talking about a stable coin is 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 still one dollar so i'm not sure why we need so many <laughs> i really don't understand but at any rate we'll take a look at that article out of decrypt media second article is not really an article it's a list of celebrities quoted on bitcoin or about cryptocurrencies in general i told you we would look at this because we looked at the officials maybe last week sometime of different presidents and prime ministers of various countries what they had to say and chime in on cryptocurrency so today we are going to look at the list of celebs and uh <laughs> pretty interesting this one is funnier than the officials i won't go through all of them but it's a slow day in the crypto news arena so we'll just take a look at a few of these here and then lastly we're going to take a look at these rewards that are offered to those using the crypto.com debit card i told you guys i got mine uh last week actually finally it took a while to get it but i finally got it i think it actually got lost in the mail it went to the wrong address but it got to me finally and so we're going to take a look at these payout rewards you can receive using or purchasing these gift cards within the crypto.com app so if you guys aren't aware of that uh definitely download the app and you can check out what i mean about the gift cards. so you can essentially buy virtual gift cards i believe right within crypto.com so this is what i was uh, i used to do back in the day uh when i wanted to spend my crypto and there weren't any ways to get out of crypto you would buy a gift card from gyft.com well at that point there were many gift cards i could purchase from amazon to home depot i mean there were a whole bunch that i could purchase with bitcoin even starbucks back then so that was one way to get out this is uh, again right within the whole crypto.com mobile app so they're making it very easy for you to do a litany of things right within the mobile app which is great and i didn't know this but you can actually turn your debit card off while you're not using it so uh to protect you from any uh unauthorized charges that's very neat as well but yeah we'll take a look at that in a minute here but first the heat map Bitcoin down a third of a percent to 10,548 bucks. Ethereum is down 3%. That's a big hit to $171. Also, EOS down a big hit as well, 3.3%, $3.23. Litecoin down 3.8% to $64.91. These alts aren't looking good, people, with the exception of Binance and Ethereum Classic. And I think uh, Monero as well. Monero is up 2.5 or 2.4 percent to 75 dollars and 43 cents. Binance is up 6 percent 
to $23.23. And crypto.com chain coin, which we're going to be talking about, is up 8.6% today. They do a pretty good job of making their coins useful and driving demand for them. So not a bad move to hold some of those either. But as you can see with the technicals here, we're making progress here. We're back above that trend line that I drew uh maybe a week and a half ago and if i do this you'll see this area can really count as another higher low so as you can see here one two and three those are higher lows so we're making higher lows every consecutive wave through with the exception of this one down here but since we're back above this trend line we're not even going to count that one down there so, you know, looking good. You know, this right here to me is manipulation. Bart Simpson, back up. Not not necessarily manipulation in the way, meaning, you know, they're trying to uh, do something nefariously. I'm just saying that this was probably a whale selling and the markets eventually took us back to where we were before that happened. That's how markets work. They try to be efficient in some manner. And so... It got back to where it would have been if the whale hadn't sold it probably just would have gone just like that or followed the green line that i already have drawn here that i did from two weeks ago you know that's that's this is how markets work so uh yeah i think uh we should start heading higher from here i mean we do have to get above this area as you see so if i extend this outward you can see where we're we're headed here so we're in an ascending triangle you know eventually we'll break out if we try to test this area again we should break out third strike third time is a charm is what they say so let's go ahead and quickly take a look at this crypto.com pay rewards program um, it's basically when using various functions under the pay feature in the crypto.com app you will be entitled to receive cash back in cro the cro cash backs are branded as pay rewards so that's what the CRO coin or token is really about and what's driving the demand for this CRO token and why it's performing so well. Up 8% today, as I stated before. But the CRO token, um, how you receive your rewards from this is if you purchase your gift cards, and we'll talk about the gift cards here in a second, through the Crypto.com app using your CRO tokens as a means of payment, or if you send CRO tokens to friends via Crypto.com's app using CRO as a payment currency. And so you can always check, you know, your rewards, your pay rewards under referral and cash backs by tapping the gift icon located in the upper right hand corner of the home page on your app. So we're going to talk about the gift cards and this is where you actually earn the rewards. Um, if you're going that route, of course, you can always send CRO to another friend and earn that way. But... If you go the route of purchasing gift cards with your CRO, here's what you uh, get as far as rewards. So food and beverage category for uh, gift cards, you get 5% of your CRO spent. And if you have either an active earned term or 10,000 spendable CROs available in your wallet, you get actually double that. You get 10% of your CRO spent. And so it just kind of goes down this list. So essentially in the right hand column, you get double your rewards if you have 10,000 CRO in your uh, wallet for each of these. So taxi, two and a half percent, grocery, two and a half percent, fashion, two and a half, and so on and so forth. And then it drops down to one and a quarter percent for hotels, airlines, and gas and diesel. And so to uh, actually buy a gift card, you go to the pay icon at the bottom of your uh, crypto.com app. And from there, you're able to purchase gift cards from a whole bunch of uh, popular brands and again if you use your CRO tokens you will receive those rewards that I just showed you guys on this screen here so make sure you guys take advantage of that if you're not a customer and have not purchased your debit card do that man it's a great way to circumvent uh, going through these exchanges to spend your cryptos and you earn rewards from it you know so there's a link in the description of this video for that but on to some of the articles for today. This is a big one. Binance creates an NYDFS approved US dollar stablecoin ahead of its US launch. And again, I told you it was uh, they were helped by Paxos to meet compliance to get this passed through. 
crypto exchange giant Binance has partnered with stablecoin provider Paxos to launch a BUSD. My God, a stablecoin backed by the US dollar. It announced in a press release today. It has regulatory approval from the NY State Department of Financial Services, so it can be sold to people living in New York. Like the United States is only New York, right? <laughs> the coin will start trading on Paxos and Binance's exchange platforms later this month. Paxos will issue the coin and look after the reserves of dollars and Paxos customers will be able to trade the coin for real US dollars. On Binance, meanwhile, the BUSD will be traded against Bitcoin, BNB, and XRP. They say we hope to unlock more financial services for the greater blockchain ecosystem through the BUSD coin, including more use cases and utility through the power of stable digital assets. Stablecoin launches in New York, one of the strictest financial regulatory environments, of course, head of Wall Street. They're going to protect theirs at all costs. But the article goes on to say puts Binance in a good steed ahead of the forthcoming U.S. launch, showing it can cooperate with regulators. CEO Paxos goes on to say the NYDFS approval of the BUSD is a vital step toward long term stability in global crypto markets. I mean, I agree that stable coins actually do create stability. And that's the misconception that I hear many people talk about because I think they don't understand how financial markets seek to find equilibrium. Having a stable coin is, is like a pseudo short on a coin, right? It's not an outright short, but it's, it's very close to shorting um, a coin or a token or whatever it may be. And so it creates that additional stability and liquidity. See, shorting actually creates more liquidity and stability of price for any market. If it was only a buy Bitcoin and then from Bitcoin, you could only jump into other uh, altcoins pegged against Bitcoin. These prices, you think this is bad? You think a swings of 10%, it would be worse than that. Okay, it would be horrible. So having these stable coins available it's cool that's fine my issue is and you guys let me know your thoughts why so many you only really need like one you need one stable coin granted exchanges want to have their own stable coins so they can create some type of demand and create an ecosystem but honestly i think we're oversaturated with stable coins and we just we don't need that many i think some of them will probably go away because you got to remember there's no money really being made in the stable coin game the ultimate goal is to drive you to their exchanges, you know, or to use other services that may require you to use a stable coin that they've created. So we'll see what happens. But I mean, I think BUSD is going to be do very well. Don't get me wrong. Uh, they have the blueprint being able to create demand for their tokens. Just look at BNB. BNB is probably the most useful or demand oriented coin we have in the game i'm telling you it's crazy they're doing they do a good job and they understand fully how to uh to do that so the busd token is probably going to be in high demand but you know it doesn't matter for us you can't make any money off of it. it's a stable coin it'll be at one dollar indefinitely so and i don't know if you guys also heard this is just just ridiculous paxos is uh also launching their own gold back stable coin uh it'll run on ethereum but instead of being redeemable for U.S. dollars, it will be swapped for gold and stored in the London vault. I mean, God, like, it just doesn't make any sense, man. No need for a precious metal back coin. If you want gold, you take delivery of your gold. That's how you represent having and, and holding your gold. Anything other than that is a derivative and it's useless. It's no better than you just trade. You might as well just trade it on Comax, right? Buy some futures contracts and just trade back and forth with that. If, if that's the case, as far as the BUSD, uh, it's probably going to be a huge success. Again, there's no way for any of you to profit off of it, but just wanted to give you a heads up on that. Looks like Binance is making headway with launching their exchange here in the states and the last topic we're going to look at is uh, about celebrities again pretty slow day so i thought it would be entertaining to look at these quotes i won't read them all i'll try to pick some of the ones that i know of and uh and get your feedback on the rest of them starting off with 50 cent he said not bad for a kid from Southside. i'm so proud of me he is man he is something else 
So 50 Cent allowed fans to buy his album. If you guys didn't know, Animal Ambition with Bitcoin. Some estimated that the accumulation was about $8 million in Bitcoin when the coin hit its record high. However, the rapper then denied that he owned any of the Bitcoin at all. And I think he denied this because he was in the middle of doing a, uh, I think, a bankruptcy restructuring uh, case. He's being sued. So he was trying to act like he didn't have any money. So he quickly reneged on <laughs> saying he had any Bitcoin. We've got Serena Williams. We've got Floyd. We know about the Floyd one. Look, they even put a promo sticker above the actual name of the coin and most of us probably know that this is the defunct stocks that's stox website where it was supposed to be sports betting through smart contracts well he said you can call me floyd crypto mayweather from now on stocks ico starts tomorrow smart contracts for sports and then it says mayweather was charged by the sec for unlawfully promoting three icos according to an sec official press release however his promo tweets are still available goes on to say johnny depp he said in this era of democratized entertainment i admire the imaginative ethos of andreas project founder and look forward to collaborating together in a liberating progressive manner that will benefit the principles of our respective entities don't know what and why he's talking in a roundabout way but allegedly johnny depp it says partnered with blockchain based social entertainment platform which held one of the biggest icos of 2018 didn't know about that one dj Khaled. we all know this was another gentleman who was associated with the centra ico he said i just received my titanium centra debit card the central card and central wallet app is the ultimate winner in the crypto debit cards powered by central tokens and then goes on to say that dj Khaled was charged by the sec for illegally promoting icos paris hilton also got in trouble for her promotion of icos mel b i used to have a crush on this lady i love how new technology makes our lives easier and to me that's exciting she says bitcoin unites my fans around the world using one currency they can just pay using bitcoins now the interesting thing about this she deleted this tweet you know i don't know why <laughs> but she and ended up deleting this message or tweet that that's interesting jamie fox jamie fox says looking forward to participating in the new blank zero fee trading not sure what company you guys let me know in the description below if you remember what company jamie fox was talking about in that one I surely don't. Nas, he's a big guy in the tech scene now, venture capitalist. He says Bitcoin will evolve into an industry as big, if not bigger, than the internet. My man Ben Horowitz really opened my eyes to that point. This isn't the internet age. Bitcoin is its own age. Hey, looks like Nas is up on it. He understands what's going on. Actually, I've got a artist coming on my channel. We're gonna do a kicking the session very soon. I'm not gonna say who, but look out for that. Akon, he was just on the Breakfast Club a few days ago. He said that young entrepreneurs, and he was talking about Bitcoin and his cryptocurrency that he has called Acoin, I believe. He said young entrepreneurs are everywhere now with Acoin. They have both a currency and a platform to help them make positive economic and social impact. So Akon again launched his own crypto project, the crypto ecosystem to empower Africa. In November of 2019, Akon will speak at the Malta AI and Blockchain Summit. And a little known fact, my man Brock Pierce actually uh, helped him formulate this whole idea of Acoin. So shout out to Brock for that one. He told me that, I think in one of the interviews I did with him, or maybe I was just talking to him, I can't remember. Mike Tyson, he says, I'm grateful to be part of the Bitcoin revolution and hoping that my participation in this space will lead to more conversations and help increase knowledge and awareness. So it looks like Tyson branded a Bitcoin ATM in Las Vegas to address a branding problem. Moreover, in August of 2019, there were media reports that he had joined a blockchain power platform for fighters, but Tyson denied it. So yeah, we I mean, there are a few more here. We got like Pitbull, we've got uh, Roseanne, Gwyneth Paltrow, Ashton Kutcher, he's big in the whole tech scene as well. Guys, so check this out. Chad Johnson, Ocho Cinco. So check this list out, thought it was a fun little list. Slow day in the crypto news scene, so.
didn't have much to uh update you guys on but hope you guys enjoyed that and so that's pretty much it for this episode of my two satoshis i want to give a shout out again to my man uk ranja for all three song requests he asked me to pick so i did tupac do for love it's your boy crypto blood make sure you guys like share and subscribe and click that bell to be notified about unbiased crypto news reporting from a six-year vet in the crypto game i'm out of here people holla